What I found hilarious at the minute is all the clubs cry arson about PSR and talking about cartels and big six and all this other shite. Ultimately, every Premier League owner signed up to these rules. If you don't run your club properly, tough shit talking about we have the wealthiest owners. That doesn't mean jack shit though in the Premier League because the numbers have to add up. It has to be a viable business. And that's the frustration with all the cry arson is that you can't have your rich sugar daddies from any part of the world come in and just spunk money all over the place. And that's what's really winding you up. So you can cry about cartels and big sixes all you want, but ultimately you should be grateful that these rules are in place because they're put in place to make sure that these football clubs are sustainable and that the next generation will have a club to go and watch. So it's about doing things the right way. Look at Spurs. Spurs were a bit of a mid-table club seven, eight, ten years ago. And gradually, through doing the right things, they built themselves up. So it takes time. It can be done. Villa have done a good job of it as well, although their fans are a bit cry arson as well now that they have to be held to account for the money. It's weird. It's not like the rules just came out of nowhere. Everybody has to abide by these rules. If there's no jeopardy, what's the point? If it's just a pissing contest for sovereign wealth funds, where's the fun in it? It's not sporting then. You should be happy that these rules are in place, that football clubs are going to be around for the next generations. Do you not think me as a Liverpool fan would like to see John W. Henry spend more money? And I know that we can do it without PSR trouble. And we still have to look at John being cheap. So stop throwing your toys out of the pram. And just understand that you signed up for it. These are the rules. Are we really that cheap if we're being honest? Financially prudent might be a better term. No, no. For me, look, Austin, bro, I get you. We we all look at these things in different way. And I'm not here to jump down your throat. But I think we're cheap. You know? um, Example again. Last, last summer, we were in rebuild mode and we spent the sixth most amount of money in the Premier League. And we were playing catch up at that point and we were in rebuild mode. So I would say to you, yeah, when, you've, when you're when you a club that one year turned a £100 million profit, which we did one year, maybe three, four years ago, I would say we have the ability to spend money without getting ourselves into all kinds of bother and debt. So for me, our owners are cheap. You might say frugal, and they certainly do some good um, work on the financial side. The commercial partners they've brought in and the revenues that have they've increased on top of, of course, the television revenues and all. They've been brilliant, of course. But my argument's always, what's the point of all of this if we don't finish it with being able to challenge for the best players? You know, because we're always told we're Liverpool Football Club. We exist to win trophies. We're showing it about the Cop and the Shankly, Paisley and all these years gone by and European Cups being lifted by Tomo and Crazy Horse. And, you know, that's what we should be about. And to do that, we need to maintain what we have every year and add a bit more, like Arsenal have been doing. We're not getting a Declan Rice. That's the difference. If we really have owners that want to win and not just be in the top four, that's a difference for me. You know, Liverpool Football Club should be in and around top four, top six, regardless of what's happening. But we want to win. We don't want to go back in the Champions League next season just to get out of the group. I want to see us win the Champions League. 